Hi everyone, today I wanna to talk about what might be behind your anxiety. So I think we've all gone through this at some point. Uh, we've all had to deal with the emotion of anxiety. And I just wanna to talk to you about what might be happening there and how we can best deal with it. So from a physical perspective, um, it can be anything that just revs up your nervous system. So it can be processed sugar, it can be coffee, uh, it can be um, heavy metals in your body, uh, it can also be electronic exposure as well, it can really rev up your nervous system. So these kind of things have to be managed if you really wanna manage your body well in general, to be honest. Uh, from a psyche perspective, this is what we'll go into a little bit deeper, it can be a number of things. So it can be inherited, where you've almost absorbed that from your parents, and that can even happen um, in utero, um, you know, while you're in your mum's tummy, for example. So you might be, if your parents were under anxiety, you can really absorb that. Um, and you can also absorb that a lot when you're a child because children really absorb the emotions around them. Uh, it can also be some kind of past trauma. So, you know, if there's physical or verbal abuse there. So, for example, if you think that you're gonna get physically abused or verbally abused and you kind of always got that subconscious patterning, um, that's a pretty fearful state to walk around in and that can spark up anxiety, especially if there's triggers floating around. Uh, the other thing it can be, which is what I'll focus on a little bit more, is it can be actually the inner part of you trying to pull you into a certain direction. So there might be a deep part of you that actually wants to go into a certain direction, but you're riddled with fear, and as a result, you're not doing it. And that can spark up the anxiety because this inner voice just really wants to be heard. But you might have fear from some of the things I mentioned previously that are holding you back. So what do you do? Well, you can go into a little bit of a meditation and just ask yourself, um, what is this anxiety here for? So it doesn't have to be too fancy, just deep breaths for about a minute and then just asking what is this anxiety here for? Um, in my own personal practice, I use something called sacred geometry, which kind of helps facilitate these answers. Um, but people come up with answers that are sometimes really small and sometimes quite big um, and they can really help just dissipate the anxiety because the anxiety is a communication from the inner part of you to pay attention. So some of the examples I'll hear are, you know, a big example might be, I, I wanna really change career, for example. I really wanna pursue this passion project I've been thinking about for years. Like those kind of things can cause anxiety if you're in an occupation you really don't like and you've got a real calling to do something else. Um, Something smaller might be, you know, if you go into that meditation and ask that question, uh, it could be, you know, oh, I just need to start going for a walk or I need to start taking care of my health better or I need to go have, you know, that conversation with someone and just let them know how I feel because um, that can often be really built up in people. Um, so there's some of the things that might be at play. And if you look at it like that and sort of ask, you know, what's that here for? Or if you kind of think of some things you may need to change to help alleviate the anxiety, um, it can actually be a very, very powerful tool and help you move into the right direction. So hopefully that helps. Um, please let me know if you've got any questions or if you'd like any help with any kind of health goals at all. And uh, we'll be in touch soon. Thank you. Bye.